So I'm doing an intermediate fast, right? My time is 6 to 10. 6 p.m. to 10 a.m. is when I don't want to eat. It is currently midnight and or almost midnight 11 something and i'm hungry <laughs> i'm chilling watching real housewife of dubai which i really don't even watch the real housewife series anymore i just i just don't but i wanted to see what it's all about so i'm just on first episode knowing me and how these reality shows go i'm probably not gonna stick to all the other seasons but today i went to the grocery store picked up some stuff and i wanted to switch milk i wanted to stop or reduce for me to drinking cow's milk because it really be upsetting me i'm like low-key lactose intolerant or just cow's milk or just the pasteurized i don't know what it is so i wanted to try <laughs> i went to buy camel's milk and i didn't know they actually eat camel and milk camel <laughs> and ride camel in dubai and wear camel up until um when i went to the um when i went to abu dhabi with my mom the man was telling me yeah they, they do everything with the camel i'm like that's very interesting so um since then i was like okay let me try camel milk so i'm about to taste it right now i'm good Okay, one thing, first thing first, I'm glad I got this little one. Even though there was something even smaller, I probably should have gotten. I'm glad I got this little one instead of the big one. Would not be drinking this on its own. It's it's weird. It kind of it kind of tastes salty, but it doesn't leave a salty taste. Like it's a there's a ting when it hits the tongue. I'm hungry, I want cereal. So if anything, oh, that's what I was saying. If I do eat anything past six, it's cereal, that's like my midnight snack or my late night snack. I don't think I'm gonna like this, y'all. I don't think I'm gonna like this. Let me try this bowl of cereal. All I have right now is cornflakes. I normally make cornflakes with sugar or cornflakes with syrup, like maple syrup in my cornflakes. It is so good. All right, let me try. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna like this, but let me try it. Definitely not drinking this on its own. I 
hope I'm not about to waste a bowl of cereal. Make sure the sugar. Mmm, smells good. <laughs> I don't know y'all. I don't think I could buy this again. It's a lot going on. I'm done with this. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried rice milk. I tried camel milk. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Hey. So today is July 9th and it's currently like 12.30 noon and I just came from the emergency room. because the pain I was in was unbearable. It was too much. Um, I don't even know when the last day I vlogged, but since I wanna say the end of last week at the beginning of this week, that's when the pain started to get very, very bad. What had happened was, so today is actually a holiday so I went to the emergency room. I could barely walk, y'all. I could barely sit in the cab to go. Not barely. I, I didn't. I was literally on my knees because I cannot sit on my butt. I cannot lay on my back. For me to get up and off something like the couch, the bed, it is so painful. Too painful. So... Um, it really got bad, I want to say around November, November, around Monday and Tuesday of this week. And I wanted to, I didn't know what it was. Honestly, I just hope it wasn't a spider or some kind of animal growing underneath my skin. Because this has never happened to me. But apparently when I went to the doctor, I had an abscess, anal abscess. So abscess in my butt. And I'm trying to figure out. How in the world this happened? The thing about me is I love like being in tune with my body. Because if I'm not in tune with my body, who's going to be in tune with it? Nobody. So I knew there was something wrong. I thought it was because all last week I was lifting heavier weights than normal. So honestly, when I first felt it, I thought I just like sprained a muscle or something. As days go went by, I couldn't even do crunches because it involves that you it, it involves you being on your butt, right? So I couldn't do anything ab related. So I was like, all right, maybe I need to relax that muscle, just calm it down, and maybe it's just inflate inflamed. So I was like, all right, instead of doing weights, let me go ahead and just do my cardio. So in the mornings, I was just instead of doing the one hour or forty five minute cardio, I would do a good hour and a half to make up the fact that I'm not gonna be in the gym to do weights. So I did that and 
what was this two days ago i was like i can't i i could not work out for the past two days because i could not walk like that motion of my butt rubbing against each other my butt cheeks it hurt so bad last night i barely slept that night that's why this morning i was like f it let me just go to the emergency room see what's going on because this is not normal for my body this is not natural for my body so obviously my body is telling me something the thing is I kind of thought that was it in the back of my, like all the way in the back of my head. But I know in order for you to have an abscess, it has to have liquid, some type of discharge, discharge coming out. And I will literally check every day, multiple times a day to see if there's anything that needs to be drained out. And I couldn't, I couldn't see it. Like I didn't see anything. It was just like a big, this is how it felt. You know when you have a mosquito bite? like right under the dermis your your skin and it's raised even though it may not look dramatic like an ant bite, bite like that's very pussy and you know really really raised but that thing hurt you know it hurts it kind of hurt way more than a uh, ant bite because it's all flat it's thick it's raised any slight touch it irritates it it hurts so that's exactly what it felt like so i was looking every day to see if there was some type of discharge that would be the indication that it is an abscess and i would just need to like drain it out i don't mind draining anything out because i drain my pimples out all the time i don't mind it but being that it's literally on my butt and it's just so hard especially for me to bend over and see to like squeeze out I just couldn't do it. I couldn't, I was in so much pain. Like right now, I am like this because I cannot lay on my butt at all. So the doctor examined it and she said, it has an abscess and it's actually leaking. I was like, oh yes, <laughs> ouch. I was like so happy because it could be anything. You know, when you got something going on with your body, you think the worst of the worst. So when she told me it was an abscess and it's leaking, I was I was relieved. I was like, good. So that's really what I wanted um, to go to the hospital for, for them to just give me antibiotics. Cause I'm, I've had a feeling that was what my body needed. Around this time is the time my period comes. Like you see my boobs are tender, thick, and I'm getting period symptoms. So the abscess and the period symptoms all together is just making my whole body just weak. I've literally been on this couch since early this week. Yeah, because I think the last time I walked, oh, this hurts so bad. The last time I walked was on Monday, and today is Saturday. And then on Monday, I do have an appointment for me to um, go get drainage done if it doesn't drain on its own. I really don't care for that procedure. This thing hurts so bad. Like it hurts so bad. Like I could barely put underwear on and I wear thongs. So right where the thong sit is where like the rubbing irritates and it was it's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> so bad but we'll see how this works out sorry I didn't I mean there was really nothing to be vlogging because I was literally on my stomach for an entire week it's actually Saturday the day a vlog goes up but I haven't even started editing it because I just haven't had the energy Anywho, that's what's going on with me right now. It's Saturday. Um, I don't know what's going on tomorrow, Monday. New vlog starts Tuesday, so I don't know. It's hurt so bad. Like the abscess spread to both cheeks. At first, it was just one cheek, and I could feel that it was one cheek. Cause when I would lay on one side, it would hurt, and I laid on the other side, and it's fine. Now it's both cheeks. Anywho. Let me go eat, y'all. Good morning. It is the next day. It's currently 7.04 a.m. I've been up since like 5.30. Because I went to sleep really early. I went to sleep around like 10. 
10.30, I want to say. I think it was before 11 o'clock. I woke up with my abscess draining. Like, it was draining all of my sheets. It was disgusting. I'm like, oh, because it's like this slimy discharge. It's clear and slimy. Um, that's a good thing that it's draining. That means, you know, it's punctured and it's really coming out. But now I'm washing my sheets. The other, the big heavy one I have, the comforter, I have to just take that to the cleaner. Ouch. Because I cannot put that in a washing machine. But yeah, so I had to shower really early, clean all of that off. And what I did last night was I put a cotton round like in between my butt, my butt holds it. And it's just as, as a protector since I don't have a big behind band-aid to put on top of it. Um, it just, you know, helps absorb any discharge. I just didn't know it was going to discharge like that overnight. It got in smaller. The other side still hasn't budged because there's no puncture there. So I think on Monday, tomorrow, I'll just have to go and have them drain it because I'm not about to try to deal with trying to, ugh, I hate poking myself. I don't like it. So I'm not about to try to go do all of that on myself. If I have somebody here to help me, okay, that's different. But me doing it on my own, absolutely not. Um, I was supposed to upload a vlog yesterday. I was not in the mood to finish editing. So I'm gonna edit today and it's gonna be uploaded today. So sorry for the late vlog, but I had this anal abscess I had to deal with y'all it's too early to eat breakfast though but I didn't eat anything yesterday and I don't even know if I have an appetite to finish the breakfast good afternoon everybody it's the next day it's currently I think 2 p.m. on Monday which is today I had an appointment to go get my abscess drained but my mom's an RN and she said that's not necessary because yesterday it was just, just draining all day. Like, it was disgusting. There's so much pus in there. There's so much bacteria in there. It was just draining nonstop. So she said, being that it's draining on its own, there's no reason for you to go to the doctor and have them cut you open, cut you open put you under anesthesia and cut you open for that to drain. Just let it drain on its own. It's gonna take some time. Today, when I woke up, like I had no pain. The only reason I have pain in that area is because it's a sore. You know, when you have an open sore, it's going to be painful. So that's the only thing that's giving me pain. And it's not even giving me pain. It just feels like a sore. Other than that, I don't feel the irritant, the redness. I don't feel none of that anymore i just took another antibiotics so that's gonna be i think my third one or my fourth one one two three yeah i've been taking one a day so today i'm going to actively drain it that's why i'm on this, in, on this position right now because my feet is like i'm kneeling on the floor my butt is towards the mirror so i can see it actually drain and i'm just sitting here watching i'm gonna watch tv while i actively see the draining coming out and wiping it off because yesterday I just let it drain on its own and checked it throughout the time. That's the process. And being that I am on my monthly cycle, my face wants to break out today. So guess what? Good old Neutrogena is on my face today cause the devil is a liar. You're not gonna attack my face and my butt. Like you're not gonna attack both cheeks. What you doing? I literally just wanted to check in so I can check out because today is Monday. New vlog starts tomorrow. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning in this week. I know this week ended on a weird note or ended on a on a life note. This, you know, stuff like this happened. Life happens. Right? So I'm just grateful that I am healthy you know it's nothing major I just need to know I need to wash my butt three four times a day <laughs> instead of twice 
all right y'all thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to follow like subscribe comment do all that good stuff and don't forget to follow me on instagram at imported underscore chocolate with that being said i will see you guys in the next vlog bye